Hello and welcome to Arab Business. Syria is heading towards economic collapse after four years of war, according to a new report by British think tank Chatham House. The report says that the Syrian economy has retracted by over 50% in real terms. The Syrian pound has lost 80% of its value and inflation has averaged 51%. With a sharp drop in output in the energy and manufacturing sectors, agriculture now accounts for a greater percentage of the nation's overall output. Iraq hopes to meet investors by the end of July to present plans for a $5 billion bond issue, the country's finance minister, Hoshia Zabari, has revealed. The government has hired JP Morgan, Citibank and Deutsche Bank to arrange its first debt sale in nine years to cover a budget deficit caused by low oil prices and its conflict with Islamic militants. Dubai residential property prices are likely to fall 10 to 20 percent this year because of subdued demand, slower economic activity and downbeat investor sentiment, according to credit rating agency Standard & Poor. S&P expects oil prices to remain weak through to the end of 2016, so that economic growth in the United Arab Emirates as a whole is likely to slow markedly in 2015 and 2016. The agency also warned that a fall in Dubai stock index would be likely to affect investor views on property. And now look at the Gulf markets. Saudi Arabia rebounded slightly in early trade after having fallen for the past six trading days on disappointment at the slow pace of foreign fund inflows into the market. The main Saudi index in Qatar fell 0.2%, Egypt tumbled 0.5%, while Dubai inched up 0.2%, Kuwait edged up 0.4%, Abu Dhabi rose 2.9% and Oman was almost flat. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. We will be back tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East. Goodbye.